Okay guys, what's up? It's your girl Chevy Love for another mini vlog hair update type video. So if you guys have been following me on my Instagram, it used to be actually at underscore underscore Shelbs underscore underscore. I just changed it to Shelby Love to make it easier for you guys. That's S-H-E-L-B-Y-L-O-V-3 for the E. Three is for beauty, fashion, and hair. Clever, right? So um, just to make it easier for you guys to be able to find me on social medias and stuff like that. So those are all lowercase and all together, no underscores and spaces like that. So if you do follow it, or if you don't, you should start now, you can see that my latest hairstyle was a blue faux bang updo. So I, I got a lot of compliments on it. Everybody loved it. I, you know me, I'm loving the bright colors. And for me, I'm also one of those people who likes to do, um, just basically balling on a budget. So. This was a hairstyle that I stumbled upon that only cost $2 to create. Yes, $2. Um, prices do vary depending on what beauty supply store you go to, but basically, bottom line is you only need one pack of hair. Now today we're gonna do this with my pink hair that I had left over from my um, curly box braids that I did. Um, just because, well really because I don't, didn't have the chance to go get some more blue hair but um most of the time when you do this hairstyle at least for the way i did it you want a ombre um hair color so that you know if your hair is like mine dark 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 brown um it'll look kind of more natural because you can see the dark brown go to the color instead of just blatant the color but i'm pretty sure we can recreate this with a bright color and give people the illusion that I dyed my bangs and that I dyed my ponytail and that the rest of my hair is just dark. Um, hopefully it turns out just as good as my blue faux bang and that you guys can recreate it and tell me what you think. So all you really need for this is some ponytail holders, some bobby pins, bobby pins, um, a brush. Um, also, when you slick up your hair into a ponytail like this, that's the first step. You probably want to use a brush like this that has a hard side like this. And a flat iron. Now, the flat iron is really for the bangs part. Um, just because it kind of sticks straight out when you first put them down. And you want to curl them to give them more like a natural look. So, for right now, I'm going to untangle this. Plug it in so it can warm up while we're doing the ponytail part. And then we should be able to go straight into straight into um what's the word the point yeah. so mm, let's get started okay guys so first thing we're gonna do we're gonna take this pack of hair i actually used some of this hair already um if you guys did not see the video my hair mini vlog update of uh, the latest style i did you can check that out um, but basically, if you get most, if you're a person who normally goes to the beauty supply and stuff like that, who gets fake hair or braiding hair, most of them come like this. This, I use some of this already, so. And this is really for demonstration purposes. I'm actually about to change my hair again and make possibly make a video of my first lace front um, install. But yeah, so um, this is normally how they come. They come half, like split in the middle with a rubber band on it. And actually, we can, we're probably going to use this rubber band just to attach it to my ponytail. Um, but yeah, normally it's thicker than this, but this is, I use some of it already. But yeah, so the real, the first step is to take it out the package just like this and go with this part. And you just want to put it right on top of your ponytail. The reason you want to do this is just easier to wrap it around this way and to just go forward. Ah. So much hair. Okay, so what you wanna do is you're really just, you're really just wrapping the hair around your head. So for right now, we're just gonna, I'm trying to twist as I wrap, because what I really wanna do is cover up my hair on top with this hair to make it look pink. And that's when the ponytail holder comes in to do that. And one thing that I did do the first time that I did this, I wrapped the other part around and I used this half bended part. You know how when you ponytail, you go like this and you go like that. I used the second part and pulled it back and then used it to wrap around so I can keep the bangs in place. So you're really, this is all about placement um, on your head. 
So I would never suggest doing this hairstyle without a mirror. So we're gonna go this way. So what we really wanna do, we want the bangs to land right in front of my face. And that's because we're going to create the false bang look with this end of the hair. So what I did was stop it right about here, which is where, if you guys can see from the side, which is where my bangs would probably end up. I might go a little bit further because what I like to do, when if you saw my bangs, I had longer strands right here and then cut the bang off here. So I might just, I think I'm just gonna go like this for now and we're gonna cover it up. So we're gonna put ponytail holder right here and wrap that around a second time to get the hair secured. Now, I'm gonna try and basically use the pink hair to cover up the ponytail holder, um, just cause that makes it look way cooler, way more natural. Um, I can't see the side. Yeah, so that looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Where's my other bobby pin? I don't know, where did I put it? Oh no, did it go down the sink? Oh, it's on the floor, okay. Oh, and I forgot to say, the one the other thing you need for this hairstyle is scissors. And preferably, I I think shears are probably the best ones just because you're gonna be cutting this um, ponytail yourself. Now, one thing that the video that I watched did was kind of try to make the ponytail look more lived in. Um, look more like messy ponytail. We don't want to look too messy because I'm still covering up my hair at the top. So this is pretty good. Um, I forgot to bring the scissors up here in this room. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back downstairs and get those real quick and I'll be right back. So actually the first time that I used these on my hair, the flat iron was too hot and it melted. So I wanna just make sure, okay. It's not too hot, so it's not gonna melt this hair. That's good. Cause I literally was going to do my bang. I know you guys can't see my face. I literally was going to do my bang, and as I was going to do my bang, I put this the higher the flat iron was smoking, mind you. So this is my boyfriend's mom's flat iron, and it was smoking, and I was just like, oh, it'll be fine. You know, maybe it's just really hot. Like maybe it's just you know, it just looks that way. I look like Sia. And as soon as I'm like this, burned off. So I'm like, okay, all right. So basically the good part about this hairstyle is that, I'm, this is kind of cool. Maybe I have to cut, I'm just kidding. Um, the cool part about this hairstyle is that if you do do mess up on one end of the hair or whatever, all you gotta do is take it, the ponytail holders back out, wrap it around the opposite way and use the other bang. So you could also do that when, cause this hairstyle can last for about two weeks if you wanted to. Um, so if after two weeks, the hair in the front starts to get a little matted or a little fuzzy at the ends, you could really just rewrap it and use the other side for two more weeks. I suggest this as like a placeholder hairstyle. So if you like don't know what you're about to do next or you know, you don't have money like that right now. So you're just trying to do, look cute for a little while till you get paid or whatever. This is the perfect hairstyle for you. And it's, only, it's literally only $2 to get a pack, so. Now, I know you guys are at a slant, so you can't see me as well, but I'm gonna cut my bangs this way. So one thing that I also learned was when I cut my bangs right in front of my eyes, that's when it falls into my eyelashes. So I'm going to, you know what? I need a comb. Oh no. Let me see if I have a comb. Oh no, I don't think I have a comb in here. I'm gonna have to stop and go to the other place. You know what? I think I might just free ball. Let me use my brush. Oh yes, this is my wig brush. Um, I use it for my wigs, so I'm gonna use it for this hair. So, I'm going to use the hair that I'm gonna use to like frame my face. So this hair. 
I'm gonna make this piece of hair right here frame my face. Don't forget behind my ear. And pick a piece of hair over here to frame my face. And just put that over here. So now we're just basically concentrating on this part right here. So I'm going to cut it right, right about here where my nose is. I'm hoping that when I go to curl it, it's going to bounce up higher so it won't be directly in my eyes. So yeah, so there we go. Okay, so I got a few stragglers that are just as long or almost as long as the hair used to be and we're just going to sneak those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Shout out to my mom's iPhone for being the camera for this video today. So, got these pieces that I tucked behind my ears. I got some extra hair up here I need to tuck in. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just flatter it a little bit. We want this kind of like ninja bun. That's what they, the video that I looked up um, that I used for this style is called a ninja bun. I think I'm gonna actually like cut these part of my bangs diagonal so they kind of have a point to them. Um, Shiny it is though. When it's straight, it's like really cute. Okay. So we're gonna cut the end. Yeah. Got some in my mouth. Okay. So the thought is when it comb this part, it'll look like you know cute or whatever. So we're gonna try and gather all the hair up and just trying to flat iron this to a curve so I might need to do smaller pieces Like, <laughs> this is like, if you want to look at this point, it's kind of like in my eyes. I think I need to bend it up again. Maybe I need to cut it shorter. Maybe I need to cut it shorter. Okay, so go back and see if like a tiny Just like, like a similar Okay.
って。I think it would have helped if I would have had thicker hair, uh, more hair to deal with, uh, just cause. Flattering it one more time. Okay, I want to like tuck this part down some more. Let's see if I have a ponytail. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. I did go back and put a bobby pin up here just to help that seamlessly blend in better. But yeah, it's really cute. Um, like I said, it's probably look better with ombre hair just because it'll look more um, believable, less like it'll be like mixed in for dark brown with your dark brown hair. Um, but this isn't bad. This is not bad. Um, I feel like I just really would rather have maybe a little bit more hair and for it to be ombre. But it still looks kind of cute. Like. But yeah, so it's a quick, easy style um, that you can use for only two dollars, and yeah, just pop on. So the cool part is you can do just different color hair, um, and that it works well. So yay! It still it looks kind of like because I have an undercut. I think it looks way more different than a normal person, but I like it. I like it. I look cute with big hair. And if I go straight ahead, it looks like all my hair is mixed up. It's cool. Yeah. So that's the final look, guys. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit me up for any other questions or if you want to see more tutorial videos like this. So yay. Peace out. Love.